Hey guys, it's Eric uh, Megatech PC here with another computer video. Um, just thought I would do a quick benchmarking video of the Unigen Heaven 3.0 uh, benchmark. Um, there's been a bit of a controversy uh, about this particular benchmark um, in regards to the fact that it doesn't notice driver uh, tessellation settings um, with AMD cards you can uh, adjust the tessellation amount um, control center and um, because of that you can actually wind up with faster speeds or uh, frames per second in heaven 3.0 um, just through these driver settings and so some Nvidia guys are complaining that you can't really trust the AMD uh, users numbers uh, because they could be cheating basically um, as you know if you've watched my videos or you know anything about me um, I recently traded in my GTX 580 lightnings for um, AMD 7970s and um, so I've been benchmarking the crap out of them since I got them and uh, I just wanted to prove with a, a quick video here that um, the 7970s uh, actually really just perform very well in uh, heaven for whatever reason. Uh, the 680s tend to do better in 3D Mark uh, benchmarks like 3D Mark 11. Um, but the 7970s legitimately are quicker in my experience in uh, Heaven 3.0 and I'm gonna prove uh, at least prove to you right real quick that um, my numbers are definitely not in, uh, influenced by driver setting changes or uh, little tricks so I'm gonna go ahead and start things up here as you can see the computer is off and I am turning it on right now so you're going to get to watch in real time as I turn the computer on and boot her up. Real quick, we'll go over the actual rig. Um, it's a 600T case with a 3960X processor in a Rampage 4 Extreme motherboard. I've got 16 gigs of Patriot uh, Viper Extreme memory running at 1866 megahertz here are the two 7970 lightnings that I'm running um, as you can see they've got that cool back plate on there and the GPU reactor which is pretty cool as well um, cooling the 3960X is an H80 cooler by Corsair and I've got a Corsair AX1200 power supply um, powering this system. Now the uh, new addition to this rig is right down here um, in the 600T. This is just a little cutout in the back uh, plate area of the case. And um, what you're seeing right there is the back of a Intel 320 SSD 160 gig um, that solid state drive was just uh, sitting around in my closet and I just decided to throw it in there um, I used some uh, velcro to just uh, hang it right there so it looks kind of kind of slick right there I wish it was uh, a little bit wider so that it would cover that entire hole but you know whatever and anyway, the point of that um, extra 320 is that um, I wanted to have a boot drive, a separate boot drive from my normal boot drive um, to run benchmarks exclusively on. Um, I found uh, 
after using these 7970s for a while, that AMD's drivers are, uh, I would say, less stable, less um, usable than NVIDIA's. Um, so when I would use Afterburner to overvolt the cards, a lot of times it would um, mess up my games. They would start freezing and, and locking up and and stuff. Uh, so I decided that I would just put all my benchmarks onto one solid state drive and um, use my main drive, which is this uh, Corsair Force 3 right here at the top. That's my main drive. And I don't even use it when I'm using my benchmark drive. Um, and that uh, avoids conflicts between Afterburner and uh, AMD Overdrive through uh, the Catalyst Control Center. Um, the main point being that on this drive that I'm about to bench uh, Heaven 3.0 with, there is no Catalyst Control Center. I uh, uninstalled it from the control panel. So I'm going to show you real quick here. This is my basic desktop on my benching uh, drive. Um, as you can see, there's just a couple of benches. I've got Heaven and 3D Mark 11, and I've got some uh, monitoring software, GPU-Z, CPU-Z, uh, HW monitor what have you but if you look over here in the corner you'll see that I've kept this drive pretty much a bare minimum I've got security essentials and overdrive I mean um, afterburner sorry uh, which I'm about to pull up here I want to go ahead and try to cool these cards down real quick before I run this bench so I'm going to set this fans to 100 percent which is a little bit loud I will admit but you know when you're benching who cares what the what the fans are doing as long as they're cooling the cards. So anyway, back to um, back to what I was talking about. You know, you come over here to the corner. I'm I'm not running anything over here. There's no CCC running at all. And then I will come to the control panel here and show you my programs list. If it'll pull it up, there it is. So we'll try to uninstall a program and you can look and he see here all I've got is the catalyst install manager um, but there is no catalyst control center in my programs uh, that's important because the only way you can fix uh, driver settings uh, is through the catalyst control center and I don't even have that installed um, and you've, I mean, besides, you've watched me boot the computer up. You can see I haven't done anything to the settings. The only thing I've done is pulled up uh, Afterburner. I'm going to detach the monitor here so I can keep an eye on all my temps. And as you can see, we're, we're down to 37. If I can get that to focus. We're down to 37 degrees on the top... Uh, 7970 lightning. Um, I'm also monitoring memory temperatures because I'm going to be running a fairly aggressive memory overclock on this run. So anyway, what we're going to do here is we're going to come to Afterburner. We're going to change our voltage to 1260 millivolts. We're going to put our power limit to all the way maxed. We're going to put our core clock to 1220 uh, megahertz and our memory is going to be 1800 megahertz and we go to the drop down menu for the triple voltage control of my lightnings on afterburner we're going to set memory voltage to 1675 millivolts and we're going to max out the aux voltage to plus 30 all right and that's pretty much it. We've got max fan already running. Um, our temperature's up on the number one GPU here is at 36. That's pretty close to where I want it. I'd, I like to try to start this test at about 35 degrees because by the time I get to the end, it's going to be running well over 80. And the 7970s are very uh, susceptible to temperature 
um, especially when you get over 80 degrees. So what will happen is you'll start to see artifacts and the performance will go down. Um, Heaven is a very long benchmark. Uh, it runs for several minutes. Uh, it's got 26 stages. So over that time, um, the GPUs heat up quite a bit. Um, and I'm running a, a f you know, I'm running uh, almost 200 millivolts higher than stock on these cards. So the top card is going to get pretty hot pretty quick. So uh, as you can see, I've got the side panel removed from my case, which the 600T is notoriously bad when it comes to uh, you know airflow and cooling. So I've just gone ahead and removed the side panel, maxed out the fans. This is uh, nothing more than really just a, a kind of a suicide uh, max overclock of these cards. Obviously, a lot of guys have a lot more luck with their 7970s than I have. The uh, ASIC numbers on these two cards are fairly uh, mediocre at best, so they require a lot of voltage. They get really hot, um, but they are pretty stable, I will say. Um, as long as you feed it enough voltage, they'll, they'll do uh, 1250 or so, but the temps just get out of control, so... Anyway, uh, it's time to start this thing up. Um, as you can see, we're still at about 36 degrees, so we're going to come here to Heaven 3.0. And the settings that I'm using are the settings from the Overclock.net. Um, the benchmarking section has an official Heaven 3.0 thread, which I am uh, using for comparison purposes. So these settings are important uh, in order to keep the comparison uh, accurate. So here we're going to go to Extreme Tessellation. We're going to go to 16x on the Anisotropy. And we're going to go to 8x on the Anti-Aliasing at a resolution of 1680 by 1050, which I know it's low, um, but that's what the that's what the thread is using. So that's what we're going to use. We're going to come over here and we're going to apply our settings in Afterburner, and then we're going to run. And that's what uh, that's what we're doing right now. As you can see, my cat is causing a, a bit of a ruckus back there. But uh, we're going to go ahead and run this benchmark as soon as it pops up because we're going to try to conserve temperatures here. We're already up to 46 degrees. So anyway, here we go. We're running. And, uh, you know, this is going to be a long video. We're already up to 13 minutes, and I just started the, the benchmark, which lasts at least five minutes. So there's going to be a lot of me sitting here talking and being boring. But anyway, we'll take a look at the benchmark itself, and maybe you can... Well, I don't know. This is going to be a YouTube video, so it's unlikely that you're going to be able to notice uh, anything like micro stutter or anything like that if you're considering 7970s in crossfire, because YouTube obviously limits frames per second to 30. But I can show you right here that I'm averaging at the moment eh, right around 113 frames a second. Um, and this is a... 120 hertz monitor, so um, you're getting to see every one of those frames per second. You need to get down. Yes, I know you're very cute, but you need to get down. All right. So anyway, taking a look at temperatures, we're already up to 68 degrees, 70 degrees now. We're only on the uh, eighth stage, so that's not really particularly ideal um, as I said the temperatures are the main setback that I ha I'm having with these cards um, which is surprising to me because my uh, 580 lightnings were very good at keeping uh, temperatures in check but uh, the twin frozer 4 on these cards uh, seems to be struggling a bit 
Um, I don't think that there's anything wrong with them, and I don't think there's anything wrong with the design. Uh, I am running a lot of voltage um, through these uh, chips, and you have to remember that the 7970s are 28 nanometer uh, chips, so everything is so much smaller and condensed and, and so much closer together that uh, when you add uh, heat, it's, it's harder to dissipate it, so um, the Twin Frozer is, is you know, probably doing about as well as, it, as can be expected, but, um, you know, temperatures are still a little bit out of whack. Um, but anyway, we'll take a look back at the bench. We're at stage 17 of 26, um, just trying like heck to keep temperatures under control. Um, and monitoring everything here, I'll go down through the list. We've got GPU 1 is at 78 at the moment with the memory at 60, and GPU 2 is at 62 and 49 memory. Um, I'm running 1274 millivolts, and both GPUs are clocked at 1220 megahertz. Um, this is the portion of the benchmark that tends to really start to ramp temperatures up as you can see we're already up to 83 degrees and uh, that's kind of unfortunate because these cards are very sensitive to temperature so once you get up to the 84 85 degree range you'll start to notice some artifacts um, which I'm sure we're going to start seeing here any second now we're up to 85 degrees now um, but uh, that's just kind of par for the course with these cards. Is the heat is a little bit overwhelming for the cooler, and um, that's just kind of the way it goes. But anyway, we're up to the 25th of 26 uh, stages, and we're almost ready to get a. And as you can see, there's some nasty artifacts coming now, um, but it still hasn't crashed. And we got a result here of 119.91. So you can see that right there, 119.91. No tricks, no uh, driver cheats or anything like that. That's just a straight run of these two 7970 Lightnings in Crossfire. Um, is this a gaming uh, stable uh, overclock? Absolutely not. Um, absolutely not. I would never run a game at these settings uh, just because the heat is so overwhelming. Um, but, you know, for a ultimate performance run of Heaven 3.0, I don't have a problem with it. Um, as long as you can make it through one run and get a score, that's, uh, that's as stable as I need it to be. Um, so anyway, as you saw, it's about 119 frames a second, which is uh, very good for these settings, you know, extreme tests, uh, 16x and 8, 8x anti-aliasing. At granted, at 1680 by 1050, but that's uh, that compares well with um, the 680s that I've seen um, on Overclock.net. Actually, the highest dual 680 score at those same settings is around 115 so we're talking about four frames a second higher for the 7970s uh, which are definitely still very competitive with the new uh, Kepler um, cards from NVIDIA so anyway this has been another uh, video for uh, Megatech PC YouTube channel I'm Eric signing off and thank you for watching this admittedly long video but I thought it was uh, worth letting you see the entire process from turning the computer on to running the bench so that you can see uh, that there are no cheats and that the 7970s really are just legitimately quick in Heaven 3.0. Uh, thanks for watching and stay tuned for more videos.